talking about recording YouTube videos, writing books, that kind of stuff is also interesting. Um, but apart from that, I would also say another thing that I've been getting into very recently is cricket. Uh, and actually, the story behind that is pretty interesting. So there was uh, there's a, the, a cricketer coach that used to play for England. His name's Jeremy Snape. Um, and so he owns a psychology company now called The Sporting Edge. And so The Sporting Edge is a, 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 essentially interviews a bunch of different people, asks them about psychology, what they do, that kind of stuff. And so he wanted to interview me. Um, and since he lives in London and I live in Toronto, and since I was going to Denmark for a conference, he actually flew to Denmark as well. And he interviewed me. And just before the keynote, he and just before the interview, actually, uh, he taught me a little bit of cricket. So getting into that slowly as well. For young, young computer programmers, I mean, as I was mentioning in my keynote today as well, or my talk today as well, um, really there are three main tips. First of all, it's that make sure that you're passionate about programming, and if you're not passionate about technology, I'd recommend you don't do it. And the reason I say that is because if you're not passionate, you're not going to be perseverant. And that's my second tip. Make sure that you're really perseverant and don't give up even on the thousandth roadblock because that's what programming is all about. It's about finding errors and fixing them. That's quite literally what the definition of programming would be. Um, and so really what I would say is making sure that you're very perseverant and from there uh, making sure that uh, you, know, you realize that every single time you solve a problem, you're just getting better at solving problems. You're never going to experience that one ever again or even a similar problem uh, and from there making sure that as you're learning you're learning again via example you're learning via um, your own implementations you're learning via uh, looking at other people's code trying to understand how